Hello, everyone. I know, it's been a long time since you've seen me. Uh, I'm making a video today to let people know I'm still alive. I've had a lot of uh, messages, comments on videos, whatnot, asking, where are you? What's happened? Why aren't you posting videos? Well, my bad back kind of got worse a bit. Uh, I, I sort of re-aggravated re it, re-injured it, and it's really kept me down. I, over the summer, I got out a few times. I managed to do a bit of my uh, assessment work out there, but uh, I wasn't really all that active this summer, and wasn't doing anything that was sort of video worthy. So I haven't been making or posting any videos. Uh, but I thought it's Christmas season. I would give you guys an update on what's going on and, uh, with my mining life and sort of tell you what I'm planning for this coming year. I'm in at school right now. Uh, it's Christmas break. There's no students around. Um, in here today, I'm going to be prepping a project for the students for after Christmas break. I'm going to be taking some uh, ore samples from different mines around here. Ooh. Yeah, something like that. Each student's going to get a rock about this big, and they're going to investigate it. Uh, a couple things, they're going to take it to the rock saw, we're going to cut a slab out of the middle and see if we can identify any visible gold. A lot of these rocks do have visible gold in them. We're going to uh, put the slabs under a microscope and see what we can see, see if we can identify the different minerals and uh, structures inside there. And then we're going to take half the rock, we're going to wash off the oil from cutting, and then we're going to crush it and see if we can pan any gold out of the crush. So I'm just going to, I'm in here today to uh, get one piece all set up, uh, cut slab out, crush it, do everything so I can show the kids what they're going to be doing. Well, I'm going to take some videos of that along the way, and then after that, uh, I'm going to explain to you what this year coming up is going to hold for me. i got some exciting things in the works, if my back can handle it. So here's a sample I did before, and I'm going to do another one today. This comes from mine right up behind my house, a hundred year old mine, where you can see the quartz seam running right through the, the mountain. And uh, so the, the kids will cut a slab like this. Now this unfortunately has no visible gold in it, but it does have some, let's see if this video can get it, it does have some great pyrites. It's not going to really pick them up. There's some real nice pyrites. You can see the quartz seam. You can see the sulfides going through it. And you can see that contact zone between the, the host rock and the quartz seam itself. And you can see all the mineralization right on that contact zone. So this is a great sample. It shows, shows everything, but I want to find one that actually shows some visible gold. So I'm going to choose another mine site here. Um, this one's also in our local area. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And you can see here that uh, the quartz and the iron. And uh, on this mine site here, we often find gold right in the transition between the two. So I'm going to mount that up in the saw here and take a couple slabs on it. Now, unfortunately, my saw does run in an oil. And oil, as all of you know, sucks for anything gold related because it makes the gold float but we're going to use it all the same and I'm just going to use that as an opportunity to teach the kids about what oil can do in gold mining and we will wash our pieces very carefully before we crush them down. It'll take me some time to set this up. Hopefully I can take some video of it actually cutting. Okay, I've got the piece mounted up in there, and it's slowly feeding it in. Let's see if I can open it up without making too much of a mess. Okay. Uh, oil can fly around in here pretty good when it's better. The uh, automatic feed goes very, very, very slow on this saw. And the rock is just about a little meter away right now. It'll start cutting in any second. It's going to fly around up there. I'm only cutting the very tip off of this rock. I might have to do multiple slabs before I can see some gold. If I'm lucky, I'll see some gold. Oh, I think we've got a 10-minute cut, so I'll let it do its thing. So let's see how it's doing here.
Well, the first cut is done. There she is. Very cool. Now I'm going to make a second cut. Cut the slab off now. Turn that in. That looks about right. Bring it up to the blade. Not that far. Turn the feed back on. Close the lid. And unfortunately my fancy switch here. Put her back in. that off and see what I can see. So the first face is not all that exciting. We see the iron pure tight across the top. We see the quartz around the bottom. We see a few cracks in the quartz filled with uh, a little bit of rusted iron. But I don't see what I've seen in these samples before and that is gold or even uh, some pyrites. Often we see some crystal pyrites on that uh, transition. I don't really see that here either. So this might be a bit more of a boring piece. But we'll get a slab or two off of it and see. Here's a rock from that same mine. This one's been soaked for oh, a week or so in hydrochloric acid to really clean up all the rust off it. And I'm not sure if the camera could pick that up. Oh yeah, I'm sure it will. You can see the gold there all around that black iron. Lots of gold all around through here. I'll try to get a nice close up picture of it so you can actually see the gold there. Well, the slab is now cut. There's the slab. It needs to be washed, obviously. Nothing jumping out at me right now, but it'll be washed. And I think that's all I'm going to have time for today, so I'm going to take the rock out of here. We can always mount it back in there and take another slab if we needed to. but I'm not too happy with this particular ore sample anyways. It will give the kids a great example and hopefully some of theirs will actually have gold in it. Okay, I'm going to go wash those off and then have a closer look at them. Oh great, now I have an oily hand and a camera in my hand. What am I going to do? Ugh. Well, I checked it out carefully with the loop all over the place, looking at all the different um, cracks and crevices, or the transitions, everything, but not a speck of gold anywhere to be seen. I need to go see if we can find another sample to try. Okay, here's the next one I'm going to try. Same mine, but vastly different rock. Uh, this rock is mostly quartz. Very little iron. There might be a little bit of iron here and a little bit of iron there. Um, a lot of that powdery telluride material, telluride, um, which my geologist friend says that's a really good chance that the gold is coming from, the, from that area. Although the ones I've seen, it's been right up against the pyrotite. Well, that might be a bit of iron right there. But vastly different rock. You can even see some crystal quartz in some of the pockets there. Gonna cut that open and see what it looks like. Probably have to break it in half before I cut it open. It's a big chunk. 
I don't want to be cutting all day long here. But no worries. Oh, one more try. And yet another cut done. Unplug that and off the feed. I don't know what to expect on this one. Let's hope. Oh. Okay. No great big chunks of gold, that's for sure, but that looks better. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to need to make another slab off that, even though I need to go get some lunch. I'm starving here. I am going to take a slab. Take that guy there and go wash him off and see what I can see under the loop. I really need to switch on this thing. Again, greasy hands, and I have to somehow turn off the camera. Well, that last piece was a great looking piece. It, oh, amazing what's in, what's in there. Lots of pyrites and cracks and everything, but the one thing that's missing, the gold. I got a picture of a good piece at home from this mine that has visible gold in it. And I think I'll include this in the video, even though it's not what I cut today. Let's see what I was talking about. At least I got some samples for the students to see and uh, making sure the saw is working nicely and everything. I've got a good idea of how I'm going to teach this little lesson. Well, I did say at the beginning of this video that I was going to talk about uh, my year to come. As you know, it's Christmas break, year's almost over, and this next year, as long as my back holds out, I got some great plans. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more hard rock mining this year. I just picked up a claim by Hope, and it is an old mine that a buddy of mine, Dave, um, founded oh, a long time ago, back in the 40s or 50s or something like that, maybe not that long ago, a while back. And um, he has samples from that mine with visible gold in it, uh, nice wire gold coming through quartz crystals and whatnot, and uh, so him and I plan to go and play around with that one, hopefully a fair bit. Days pushing it in years, but uh, I think we can do it. Uh, obviously, I plan to spend a lot of time at my um, Trout Creek claim. Uh, I've got the permits ready to go for that. This last year, with the bridge being taken out and my back being bad, I didn't get to put nearly as much time in there as I want to and hardly found any gold. But um, I'm hoping my back will be okay this year, and I found a way, uh, old road in the back side that I can take the bobcat in, and uh, let's hit it hard. I plan to hit it hard, uh, the permits for three years, I plan to do everything this year, because we've been given a water permit exemption for this coming year, and I don't know if it'll continue into the future, so I'm going to plan to do it all this year and see what I can find. I do plan to get a fair amount of gold out of there. That's my hopes at least. Uh, still looking for that perfect Fraser claim, although I've got a couple uh, over this w uh, winter here that I have to go check out in the spring and I think they, they look promising. They do. What else is there out there? Hmm, some panning with some buddies there on Mission Creek and, oh, the Thompson claim. Dana loves that Thompson claim, my wife Dana, uh, loves that Thompson claim, and I hope we can spend a bit of time camping out there this year. I also plan to go out there over spring break with uh, my buddy Pete and spend a week or so, well, four or five days, uh, running the high banker and playing around with that surface stuff. All the flood gold there is right on the surface, just like not even six inches down. So it's easy to get at, easy to dig, and see if we can pull, I don't know, half an ounce or so out of there. That should be fun and it will be open in the spring break. 
So this year I got lots of plans. My back is feeling slightly better in the last couple days, so let's hope it stays getting better and better and I can actually get out there and make more videos for you guys. Well, here's to hoping. Have a very Merry Christmas, everyone, and a great New Year. Bye.